Okay, in this next video, we're going to calculate the moment generating function for the normal distribution. Okay, uh, so initially we'll start off with the standard normal distribution and then we'll generalize it for the normal distribution. Okay, so we have a uh, abstract probability space here, uh, so omega, f, and p, and we have some random variable x uh, which is mapping you onto the entire real line and it's mapping you such that your distribution is normal i.e. your and standard normal at that so x is normally distributed with uh, mean one uh, mean zero rather and variance one so standard normally distributed okay and we would like to work out what the moment generating function of x is as a function of t well we know by definition this is um, this is the expected value of e to the t of x uh, so by lotus this is just equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the t now little x times the probability density function of the normal distribution. Now the probability density function of the standard normal distribution, which I'll just put as little f of x dx. Uh, now the, this uh, PDF of the standard normal distribution is 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the negative x squared over 2. Uh, so we'll stick that in now, and we get that the expected value of e to the tx, uh, which I should now call the moment generating function of x as a function of t, is equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the tx uh, times uh, 1 over the square root of 2 pi e to the negative x squared over 2 dx. Okay, so that looks a pretty scary integral. Uh, but it's doable. It's called a Gaussian integral. Uh, and I, it was probably Gauss who first worked out how to do integrals like this. So we put out the 1 over the square root of 2 pi. And we get uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative x squared over 2 uh, plus tx dx. And the idea here is to try and get rid of the uh, linear term here. We want just quadratic terms and um, and constant terms in the exponent. Uh, so the way that we can do that is by completing the square. Uh, so uh, if we uh, look at the uh, polynomial negative x squared over 2 plus t of x, then this is equal to, let's pull the negative, and, uh, negative a half out the front because negative a half is good because that looks like a normal distribution. So we want to keep that out the front. We'll get x squared and then we'll have to make put a negative sign in front of this tx and we'll have to times it by 2. So that's perfectly true. Uh, so then what we do is we say negative a half and now we're going to complete the square. So let's say x minus t squared. Okay, so if we expand this, uh, we will get the x squared bit and we'll also get the minus 2tx bit, but we'll also get a plus, uh, a plus t squared. So what we're going to have to do is subtract off t squared. So we'll subtract off t squared within this uh, brackets here, but when we subtract off t squared uh, and it multiplies with this uh, minus a half, what it will become is minus a half x minus t squared plus t squared over 2. Okay, so that is what we are going to replace uh, this thing here with. We are going to replace it with that, uh, which is algebraic, the, the exact same thing, so you can turn it into that. Okay, uh, so uh, this integral, uh, this moment generating function, mx as a function of t, is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 pi, uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity, e to the negative a half, x minus t squared plus t squared over 2 dx. Now this e to the t squared over 2, we can split, well we can split this uh, exponential here up into, we can say that this is equal to e to the negative a half x minus t squared uh, times e to the t squared over 2. Okay, uh, and then we can pull out the e to the t squared over 2 to the front. So this becomes e to the t squared over 2 divided by the square root of 2 pi times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the negative a half uh, x minus t squared uh, dx. Now, this integral is all equal to 1. Uh, the reason being, either uh, the good way of thinking about it is that this this is the PDF. Um, well, um, uh, sorry, I need to. I need to do some. I need to be more careful. E to the t squared over two, and then we'll times that by one over the square root of two pi, times 
uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity, e to the negative a half uh, x minus t squared dx. So really, I should probably pull that in into the inside here, 1 over 2 pi, so I'll get rid of that there. Uh, now, the good way of seeing why this whole thing is equal to 1 here, uh, so saying that this was equal to 1 wasn't strictly true, that was equal to the square root of 2 pi, but now that I've pulled in the divide by the square root of 2 pi, it is equal to 1. And the good way of seeing that is that this is the PDF of a general normal distribution, let's say y, which is distributed normally with mean t and um, and variance 1. Uh, so uh, the, if you remember the equation for the general normal distribution, it's 1 over the square root of 2 pi uh, times sigma e to the negative a half x minus mu sigma uh, divided by sigma squared. So that's the PDF of a general normal distribution. In this case, sigma is just equal to 1 uh, because this is, well, 1 is the variance, but sigma is the standard deviation, and if the variance is 1, the standard deviation is also 1. Uh, so this would reduce into this, uh, where you put uh, mu as t. So this is the PDF of a general normal distribution. If that's the good way of viewing this. If the bad way, the, well, the, the, the less good way is to say that u equal x minus t, then just do the u substitution. du is equal to dx, uh, so we can replace this by this, and we get that uh, this is equal to e to the t squared over 2 um, times 1 over 2 pi, uh, the integral from, and uh, if you adapt the limits, if you put in negative infinity to here, it still is negative infinity, and positive infinity similarly is still positive infinity, so get rid of that. And then you'll get e to the negative a half uh, u squared, and then it'll be a du. And that integral is equal to 1, because that's just the standard integral. Okay, uh, sorry if that's a bit squashed. Okay, so we get, therefore, that the moment generating function of a standard normal distribution is equal to e to the t squared over 2. In the next video, we will generalize this for the general normal distribution.